Welcome! In today's video, I'll show you how to organize your customer service team by creating and managing groups in Zendesk. Groups are an essential tool in Zendesk. Every account has a default group and all new team members are initially assigned to this group. If you only have one group, then that group is your account's default group. Let's take a closer look at why they matter. Organizing agents into groups ensures tickets are directed to the right people based on their expertise or responsibilities. Groups allow you to analyze performance metrics for specific departments or teams, helping you uncover actionable insights. Agents can belong to multiple groups, making it easier to manage those with diverse responsibilities across different ticket types. Setting up groups provides a strong foundation for smoother operations and better customer support. Now, let's walk through the process of creating groups and assigning agents to them in Zendesk. Log into your Zendesk account and navigate to the Admin Center, located under the Product Tray, the icon with four squares in the top right corner of your dashboard. In the Admin Center, click People to expand the options, and then select Groups. Click the Add a Group button. Enter a name for your group. For example, you might name groups based on teams like Billing Team or Technical Support. For this example, I'll be adding a Billing Group. Add a description to clarify the purpose of the group. This is optional, but highly recommended. Decide whether to make the group private so that only its members can view tickets assigned to it. In this case, I'll leave the group public. It is important to note that once a group is set to private, it cannot be changed back to a public group. To add agents to the group, select them individually from the list of team members or click Add All. Remember, agents can belong to multiple groups if their roles span various responsibilities. Once agents are added, save your changes. You can revisit the group settings anytime to update memberships. It is important to note that once a group is set to private, it cannot be changed back to a public group. group. Here are some advanced tips to make the most of Zendesk groups. Use groups to manage permissions for different ticket views or macros. This helps agents stay organized by focusing only on tickets relevant to their responsibilities. If you have separate email addresses like billing or support at yourcompany.com, you can create triggers to route tickets from each email to their respective views. Regularly review reports to assess how effectively groups are managing their ticket queues. You can use these reporting insights to improve your workflows and ensure your agents know how to prioritize the tickets they are responsible for. Thanks for watching! By following these steps, you're on the path to organizing your Zendesk team for maximum efficiency and better customer support.